Hello, all of you vainglorious, wonderful people, and welcome back to Astroneer, where today we're going down. Uh, but first, I I just noticed I, I, that this is a thing. I'm, I'm recording, obviously. That's cute. Lunar lamp. That's a little hat. You can barely see it, but it's a little hat. That's uh, that's that's an outfit, all right. That's something. Um, and then there's moon rabbit hat. I guess we finally have bunny ears. Uh, and then, of course, the Snuggly Boy. Um, which is kind of cool. So does he just come with the... The bow tie. <laughs> okay, look at the bow tie just up in his face. That's awesome. That's adorable. So does it just come with uh, the hair, too? I guess so. Uh, new emotes. Oh, man. That's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, oh, we need that one. We need that one. We need that one. Uh, some tie. Ah, uh, awesome. Sorry, I'm just looking around. I, I need, I need this. Aww. <laughs> Um, so we've got some new palettes as well. I just, I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, that's, I don't know what that's inspired by. Unit one, unit two. I, I don't know what, what the reference is. Somebody tell me in the comments down below what the reference is. That is bright red. Holy cow. Uh, new hats. So we already saw moon rabbit, which is really cute. Uh, final form. <laughs> Okay, so is that is it is it Goku references? <gasps> Average. Wait. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Mixed with, uh, I wish I could get the angle to go down, but mixed with the uh, the Wanderer, it's kind of cool because you get the the eye right there in the middle with Pal. Hmm. Uh, then we've got Guardian. I, I don't know. I'm assuming that's a reference I don't understand. Uh, QT. Ah, it's a pink version of that one. Ooh. Ooh. These are really good. These are really good. Um, so, you know, every once in a while one comes across that I have to have. It's pretty rare, but uh, it's usually emotes. Um, oh, man. I don't, I don't know what... I guess for now we'll we'll do that. There we go. So that I can I I can start my my, my videos with hello all you being glorious and wonderful people. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, we're going down. Um, I got distracted. What are we doing this for three minutes now? Yeah, we have. Okay, so we're taking a trip. I'm looking for my tractor. Um, I know I have one. There it is. There it is. All right. So for Mister Friend the Tractor, we need to get rid of that. I need to leave this behind. And we need to leave this behind. You're like, what? You're leaving the beacon behind? Yes. So what we're doing today. We're going to the court. Last time we activated all the gateways. Today we're going to the court. And, and we need a few things to get that done. We'll just plop that right there. And then you don't need an RTG. You can do this with a generator on the back. Um... Provided you're quick. Uh, and then I need... Are you a three? Yeah. I need that. And then I'm going to need one, two, three, four packagers. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room in my backpack right now, though. So... Thanks. Um, what we're going to do here... Is go ahead and make three of those packagers. Actually, I've got plenty of room. Never mind. We're good. Uh, because we need three quartz as well. Do I have quartz? How many? Oh, I have ten. Cool. So we're going to go yoink, yoink, and yoink. Why three? Because we need one for here. We need one for another place. And then we need one for a trophy. I mean, you can't not have a trophy. Do I not have any more? Hmm, I don't. Um, okay, so I need to get some graphite so let's reverse that whole thing that you just did there there you go 
Uh, give me... How many graphite do you have? Not one, so I need to put the other one on as well. Cool. Now to give me the graphite we need. So there's multiple different ways that you can get to the core. Uh, this one, probably the quickest, to be honest. Um, it, it works really well. Actually, go ahead and drain those out now. There you go. Uh, this method works really well. You take a drill, you take a tractor, and a power source on the trailer, and you point down and just fall a lot. Uh, and then when you get there, you should be fine. You can package up your tractor, put it on your backpack, and then teleport out. We are closest to... You know what? Um, I do want this beacon. Uh, and there's a reason I want this beacon. I remember in the last video, I made reference to the fact that normally I put a beacon. Oh, I thought I put you on the tractor. But normally I put a beacon up on top of a nearby mountain for the North Pole, which the North Pole is that way. I did not know this until the dev stream the other day that the door always ports to the North Pole. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, it's a cool thing now that I know it, but... It, I didn't know it, so we'll go this way. We're gonna throw a beacon on top of a mountain so that we can get directly back to the base, because what you do is if you teleport to uh, chamber, gateway chamber number three, once you're in the core, that's the North Pole. And then we'll just have a short little drive back to the base to get in our shuttle and do a thing by the way major spoilers in this video as well guys so if you are wanting to avoid spoilers this video might not be the one you want to watch um just saying so obviously we dug through here this is the base all right behind us so where do i want to put this Beacon, because it seems like the North Pole is more over that way. Hmm. Oh, it's right there. So, honestly, I can just do... Can I see... Yeah, we can see the... How can I not see the base from the North Pole the other day? I don't know. I guess this mountain's just enough in the way. Well, we're going to remedy that. We don't even have to go all the way to the top. Because right here will be visible from that gateway. So if we just plop this guy right here, that will be our wayfinding beacon. And we want to turn it blue to match the base colors. So there we go. And then back down to the tractor. And now, oh, my stomach's growling. Um, and now it's really loud, too. Now we just uh, pick any point on the planet that we feel like and do this. And just keep doing this <coughs> for uh, a little while. Excuse me as I cough. Oops. If you fall, no big deal. Don't worry about it. You can just uh, flip over if you need to, but usually with the drill still running, the tractor kind of reorients itself down um, and you're fine. You see, you dig that hole and the tractor will usually fall in it and then just keep digging down. You, leave, you do leave a lot of resources behind this way. Um, quite a few. We are coming up on big spoilers, though. Big, 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 big spoilers. In fact, there they are. Um, just kind of peeking through there. Oh, flip the tractor over it. There we go. And continue our way down. I'm stuck. Oh, man. This, this could be a problem. Because if I get out, I could fall. Oh, yes, yeah, this, is, this is no bueno. Let's see if I can dig my way out of it here. Just, like, get the physics engine to kind of glitch around with me. Well, okay. Um, can I get this to, like, while well, I'm just driving? There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Not to say this uh, method isn't without risk, but... Uh, this is the first time I've ever had this happen. Like, ever. There you go. And if you fall, you fall. So no big deal. You're in the tractor. You're going to have to take fall damage. So then, boom, just continue on. <laughs> just, just keep drilling. Down. Down, 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 down. We're almost there. We don't have that far to go. I mean, we're 
10 minutes in the video and, and we've almost reached our destination. Woo! Big jump! Yes! Lots of fun. Oh, tractor's upside down. There we go. Woo! Woo! Physics are doing a weird thing on me. And come on! Come on! Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Wait, don't be stuck. Don't do this. There we go. Not had this much trouble with it before. I wonder if uh, something changed that is causing this. Into a hole. One more layer. And then, like I said earlier, you just fall all the way to the core. So this is our last layer. Normally you'd stop here, look for one of the big uh, purple pillars, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna keep on drilling down. And down and down and down and down and down and down. And there we go. I told you the big spoilers to drill off, don't need it anymore. And just drive the tractor down on the core, try to miss that. There we go. And then just land somewhere on the core. You you might bounce off a couple times. If you do, it's no big deal. Flip that over, and then what you want to do next is package this dude up. It's best to package stuff up while it will click into there so you don't want to have like lose an RTG or a drill. Because um, sometimes things can want to like float away. This, this is always a tricky bit. You got to like be quick and ready to grab stuff as it floats away. In fact, I'd kind of like to be inside of here. Let's see if I can't get this to go in here. Come on, you can do this. That way if it floats away, it'll just float up. There we go. Not necessarily. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. It couldn't decide which gravity it wanted for me there. Um, and the tractor will probably do the same thing here in a minute. It'll probably float up as I package it. Uh, can I have that? So what I'm going to do is put both packages on here. And then I'm going to use the mouse and keyboard so that if it does start floating away, I've got a little bit faster response time. So there it goes. Got it. And what well, bam, I should just shift clicked. And then it's going to do the same thing and shift click on my backpack. Cool. And now we're here. Look at that. Look at that. Court symbol. Court symbol. Well, bam. The gateway is now locked. Um, you can't get out. In case you were wondering. This is the way you find it if you happen to drill to the center of the planet. Uh, without activating at least. You don't really have to worry about all three. I don't know how I'm doing that. If you haven't activated at least one gateway chamber on the surface, the core will be locked. Activate just one and it unlocks. So we've got three of these. Why three? Here we go. We covered all this dash to your academy, but if, if people are new to this, this kind of can start, excuse me, I think that's a bit of a tutorial. So geometric trip, trip dick. Again, you're matching the design. You can see the design on the trip dick and that platform match. So well, bam, things begin to happen. My triptych. But in its place, we now have dun, 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 the odd stone. And this completes the fast travel network on Silva. I can now teleport to any node. That's the North Pole. But we have a new cosmic elevation dim node. Can't click on it. It just kind of zaps at you. I need to drink water. Just had dinner right before I recorded this video and the fries were like really salty so I'm really thirsty. So as we covered in Astro Academy, this is a map. This number three always North Pole. Number four is always uh South Pole. And then these are variations of East and West. I think that's that's Zorth, so that must be West, so that must be West and that must be East. You know what I'm talking about. It's a meme. So anyways, if I click that guy we will head back up and we'll be at the North Pole and we want to get this tractor unpacked pretty quick because we're not getting oxygen anymore. 
Uh, but we should be able to turn around from here and see our beacon that we just placed a minute ago. There it is. If I get the tractor, that whole lack of oxygen situation, no longer a problem. And that's that's it. That, that's that's all it takes to get. It was like that's it, Brendan. You have an RTG. Yeah, but you could use a generator if you're quick. You can get to the core on a single piece of carbon. Uh, if you're not quick, just take some extra carbon with you. Uh, I mean, I potentially had one, two, three, four, five, six more slots in my backpack. So that would have been good for six more minutes of power. And that did not take us six minutes to get the, to, down to the, uh, the core. When you got there in what, like two? So that's one way that you can get to the core of anywhere. Uh, just literally anywhere. So, for the remainder of today's video, I want to do a bit of prep work. I'm trying to remember, what is it? Zinc? That's for the core of Tesselo? Yeah, because it's explosive powder for Kalidor. And Vasanya wants... Oh god, graphene? Yeah, graphene. Um, I'm doing this from memory. And then Novus wants silicone. Glacio is diamond. And then uh, Aatrox is hydrogen, I believe. Okay. I was just looking to see if we had any more uh, ammonium laying around. I believe it's hydrogen. So what I want to do is, since we're going to a moon... I want to prepare ourselves for the next, for, for a different method that you can use. Uh, you know, if you don't have a tractor, if you don't have an RTG, I kind of, you know, skipped forward a bit in, in the whole process just then. Um, there, there are definitely other things that you can do to, um, to get to the core. And one of them is you go on foot, you take a whole bunch of compound. You make tethers, and that's why I want to do it on a moon, because it won't take as long, because moons are smaller. So you make a lot of tethers, um, which I may already have some tethers. I really don't know where I'm going to put these, so for now... Oh, actually, I need to take one with me. I need to make a trip really quick. Um, we also need to grab that. What did I say? It takes zinc? Yeah, zinc. Do I even have any? <laughs> I don't think I even have zinc. Oh, I do. I have two. I need three. All right. Uh, do I have any just foul right? No, I can tell that just by glancing. So um, I don't really have any empty canisters at the moment that I can see. So what we're going to do is just uh, go ahead and go get some zinc. <laughs> kind of the old fashioned way here. Um, I do need my drill. Thank you. I guess I could take the RTG off the rover. But the base isn't really doing that much. Just research. See, all four research chambers are going. I don't know what you guys are talking about in the comments. They're all going. So he's like, you didn't start the fourth research chamber. Of course I did. I wouldn't do something like that. Intentionally, just to trigger people. Never. Not me. Is this that battery that was doing weird things? I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go find uh, some zinc since I don't have it. I still don't have a trade platform or scrap or shredder for that matter. I really should get one i mean i really should didn't we have a place that we went underground with the rover it wasn't there ah here it is i need zinc please there's some laterite just gonna peek through here see if i see any zinc anywhere kind of hard to see but no i don't see any zinc uh, oh, I love the lantern. Let's go check this out. Let's, let's look at these lanterns a little closer. Kind of pretty. Turn off our light. And get, and get one behind us. Ooh, they glow. And they don't seem to have the performance hit that they had last year. The last year when these showed up, I kind of brought with it a nasty hit to performance. Um, so, I wonder if we've got... Yeah, it looks like zinc back there. Cool. Let's say I wonder if we have zinc on this level, and sure enough, we do. Wait, hold on. My light's not making noise. 
Hmm. Just notice those tethers are disconnected. Um, good. That's weird. Why don't, why is the light not making noise? So that zinc was kind of over this way. Ish. Find it. Mark my words. 27 minutes later. Um, I should probably go a little more left. Yay, soil. There we go. We should be able to be where we can see the ramp now. I may have gone too far. So, if I have, let's do this. I'm not the best with underground directions. It, it remains my big challenge with the game. Um, there we go. Found it. Without, like, clear landmarks, I get a little confused. There we go. That's plenty. We only needed three. So then, the ramp is right here. I could kind of maybe just cheese my way over to it here. I don't want to drill too much, because, again, the more you drill, the bigger the save file gets. Plus, I don't want to tear up the tethers right now. I'd rather just pick them up and shred them later. the ramp now no this is all still pretty bad I gotta be oh my god I'm stuck exactly between two stalagmites all right and ramp cool up we go smelt this take some zinc with this and then we'll get started we probably won't get to the core um, of Desolo but we can get started after we make a, a pit stop mind you we do have one other place we need to go first. So let's uh, do a little sorting. I wonder why the, hmm, the generator didn't kick on. Oh, it's because it's turned off. It's a good reason. There you go. Burn off that organic for me. Thanks. So we'll do that. And then uh, I'm going to need to be able to carry the three zinc with me. We're going to need soil. Um, but I've got two there. What do I have? Drill strength one. I should probably get... Actually, that battery wouldn't be bad. Along with one of these. For power. Oh my god, I have the hiccup so bad. <laughs> so bad. Uh, where was the zinc that we had? There it is. Cool. We'll just throw that up there. I know, I need it for my backpack and you know, put it in there. Well, it's fine. So I've got two canisters. I don't think I need the third. The battery, I don't really need um, since we're going to be tethering um, the whole way. Oh, the light's off. It still doesn't make noise. That makes me sad. Um... Uh, also, it's really weird how this suit looks really bright when you're in dark areas. And then when you're in light areas, it looks really light. It's like, look at that. It looks really light. And then come over here and it's, it's really dark. It's kind of cool. All right, let's just grab the three that we need here and then put the rest away. One, two, and three. All right, you can have those. And we're leaving. So oxygenator, power... And that, you know, I could stop and make a diamond real quick. <sighs> Do I even have that unlocked? It... Yeah, I kind of feel like I'd like to have a diamond. Um, for reasons. Oh, I have two full canisters. Cool. Uh, so what we need to do is that... And that, no, no, not that, uh, still not that, that, go ahead and get those two graphite, get my canisters back so I don't screw up and forget, uh, and then let's go ahead and just turn this into hydrazine since we're going to need a bit of hydrazine anyway for this endeavor, and plop that there. 
output would help. There we go. Cool. So we've got our graphite. So once we get hydrazine, we can make graphene. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't do that. Just go to sleep. Oh, there's a graphite there, too. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so one... I now I'm out of space. Uh, do I have place for graphite? I don't. Here. Hang out here. I want to just take that. Um, I would really like that not to be there. I would like this to be over here. Just kind of out of the way. Um, and then I don't need to take any graphite with me. I don't need it for anything at all on this next trip. There we go. Cool. So I've got my two hydrazines, so we can switch this now to crappy. I love it. That was awesome. Um, oh, except I put all the graphite away like an idiot. Um, here, pick that all up. You're being messy. Oh, the hotfix did work. Cool. I put all the. Why did I put all the graphite away? I'm not thinking. That's why. All right, give me those back because I need them for a thing in my short-term memory. Uh, oh, it works now. Makes noise again. There you go, graphene, make two of them. If I think if I push that button and leave my backpack open, it'll pull from my backpack, I think. Could be wrong about that. Um, I guess I was wrong about that, huh. Look, that stuff is on my backpack. Oh, system error, fix this. I made two hydrazine, it's right. There. Look, it a minute ago it knew I had the graphite. God, that is so annoying. I hate that so much. You have no idea how much that irks me that if something's in my backpack, it doesn't recognize it. Alright, so graphene. And then we'll turn those two graphene into a diamond. Yep, so make a noise. Cool. So, yeah, if you're picking up off of that, then you're not positioned right. I need to move this further back. He should not be able to pick up off of that platform. So, oh, I unlocked it. He should only be able to reach. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Cool. Um, so, then we want to make the drill strength or drill mod three. We're getting there. There we go. Cool. So we can take the one off and just kind of leave it behind. Look, I cleaned everything up, and here I am just dropping things wherever again. So we'll turn that on, and we'll turn the wide mod on. We'll be tethered, so we should be all right. All right, let's take a trip into space and see uh, what's new in the neighborhood. And, of course, there is indeed something new. What could it be? The unidentified satellite? Question mark, question mark. Okay. Uh, hello, video game? Don't, don't do that, thanks. <laughs> By the way, if you've never done it, go here in creative mode and fly your drone underneath there. Trust me. It's cool. Just do it. Not gonna spoil it, not gonna show it to you. Just do it. It's awesome. So, this is the mysterious satellite. Let me pass something as we land, but I don't know why. And the mysterious satellite has a couple landing platforms well, four landing platforms and then it has these plinths over here and you may recognize a symbol here look at that that matches so you drop your triptych <coughs> excuse me from silva in there and boom a ring appears pretty yes and look at the purple glow. I love the purple glow up here. We built a base on the server up here. Once I love, I love the purple glow on everything. It's just, it's very nice. You can get a lovely view of the planets uh, as they move about. There we go. It's just, it's a night. This is a nice place to be. Just a very, very nice place to be. And if you come here in creative mode and crank up the, uh, the daytime, the planets will just zoom right past. God, look, 
I've never been up here with the new high quality mode on and the way the, the sunlight captures or gets caught in the different atmospheres as they move about is pretty stunning. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in love. Where are you at, Ajax? You down there anywhere? We've got everybody with Ajax up here. Hmm, I wonder where Ajax is. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi, friend. Yeah. And of course, it's closest to the sun. We're right above the sun. And, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go to Desolope. And we'll leave this video here as we take off and we'll pick up on Desolo. So, until next time, you can't really see it, but I'm, I'm doing the heart emote. You can hear it. Till next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.